Hey guys. You guys hear me? All clear? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right. Cool. Uh, let me just, one sec. Let me just share my screen. Right, <clears throat> cool. Thanks, guys, for joining us. They, uh, it's been a while since we had a AMA. Um, I think the Genesis one was also done after a long time, so I think it went pretty well. I would say. Um, <clears throat> I think more than the Genesis. I think what we have planned or how it's planned. I think it's probably going to benefit the the other members of the ecosystem a little bit more than the Genesis. Um, I think you know. That's the truth, right? In the sense, like the genesis in terms of what what access they would get doesn't change, but in terms of an asset uh, appreciation, I think um, Gen 2's fusion and those who have minted or minted and held the Jiraverse or bought Jiraverse about 0 0.05. I think you know it's it's the way we have planned is probably more beneficial in that way. Um, also, not only that, I think there's a lot of um, info that's going to be shared today. Uh, quite a few are still redacted, uh, but the gist of what the product is um, is still going to be shared. Right? So um, anywhere, um, you know, I'll just take a pause um, to ask any questions because there's quite a lot of info here, and it might not be easy for a normal person to exactly understand what you know what PG's direction is. But I think it'll be very clear, hopefully by end of the you know the AMA. Also. Keep in mind um, <clears throat> that, you know, I'm not sure how many of you guys know what a Y Combinator is or, you know, how a Y Combinator works. So hoping to clarify and why and how we are um, taking that path. Um, let me give you just an example, right? Why didn't PG Genesis Flow and Gen 2 and Fusion neither pumped last month nor dumped? Because we saw a lot of projects like Sappy Seals, Pudgy penguins, they all go like massively, you know, up and then like pretty much down uh, below where they started or at the same point where they started. Reason is because I think we have come to a point. Um, wait, is this going to be recorded? Yes, uh, we already have the recording for the Genesis. We'll make it public, so not an issue. It doesn't necessarily have this doesn't have to be recorded, but I think the Genesis one will be recorded. I uh, was recorded already, so that'll be shared. So just to re-emphasize that it's because, you know, uh, just to keep in mind that we have been there, we have seen the Genesis pump, we have seen the Gen 2's pump before, um, and then we realized how unsustainable it is and how much of, exp uh, you know, work that that has to go in for an asset to be valuable and for an asset to go up, right? It's not just super easy to just keep going up to 20, 30, 40 ETH or whatever, um, unless you're somebody, something like punks. Uh, you know, where there is value for, you know, the, the asset itself. Um, I don't believe that there's any blue chip, uh, which I've been telling from day one. I think um, OGs, I guess you guys could might remember. I don't consider any project as a blue chip except punks because you can see what happened to all these um, alleged blue chips at this stage, right? So um, all of these guys with millions of dollars in hand um, are still in the same level. But PG as such... Um, I really have to really, really, really appreciate you guys here, um, you know, for trusting the team. We have been super silent. We have not been doing airdrops. We have not been doing some random hype uh, tweets and stuff. We were there. We were present every day. We are still working every single day. Uh, but for, for you know, for people to trust us and not screw up, screw our floor and still hold it, whether it's a bull or bear market in the last seven, eight months to hold it at that point. Yes, some of you are going to come at me and be like, Sean, we are down 90% from all-time high or 80% from all-time high or whatever. But there is only certain things the team can do, right? Like we didn't pump the flow wantedly. It happened. Uh, but also do not forget that a lot of people that bought at the highs, they came in for a reason which is not necessarily the right reason and which is like whitelist spots and stuff. And still they made money. Um, the number of people that made money from meme lands or, you know, the other hundreds of um, that were provided here. 
that is the reason why people came in like when even myself i wake up i i am one of those founders who had tweeted um you know who had tweeted in 2022 guys uh, if you want to talk please do mute please <laughs> this one i don't want to disturb others so yeah i mean so is a reason why we all went to that flow and um, although even i used to tweet like guys why are you buying at this floor i myself felt that nfts were overvalued not just us every one of every one of the nfts back then but then compared to a lot of others we were still undervalued and still undervalued right so for a lot of those people who just want to you know just mention about our previous all time highs and like we are 90% down and stuff this is not uh, this is not a dig at people for you know asking those questions it's just an explanation that we wish we had that money in hand um you know with the five eat and seven eat sales we wish we had that money in hand um to have ex- accelerated a lot of processes but we didn't so are you, am i saying that our floor is never going to go to that level 100% i want our floor to be the highest in the space but for the right reasons and for the right reasons how do you get to the right reasons is it just by one time add drops of dimension tokens or one time add drop of wormhole or do we build our own wormhole and do we build our own dimensions not once not twice but regularly so that we don't have to depend on other people to keep dropping to us but rather we have our own series of products so what we're going to present here is the last 7 8 months what we've been working on um and how it's been progressing and what sectors we have been tackling and um an overview of pg capital an overview of pg merge an overview of maxis and other products that we have um, that we have incubated and built and whether those token drops and how those things are going to play a little bit right so um just to start um you know pretty much so i'm starting this presentation so um you know just just bear with me if there's any kind of questions i'll pause in between um each slide so that if you guys got any questions you could pretty much you know and then they ask um there's nothing as a fud i think we are one of those communities i think with the least amount of fud ever it's a good and a bad thing i feel like sometimes some people have to fud us on twitter to get attention right sometimes it doesn't matter whether it's a good attention or bad attention attention is good i rarely or have rather you know never seen fud about pg maybe <laughs> you know there's nothing we can't say as a fud because we are here things are transparent as much as possible um uh, but you know I, i i think it's um you know i really appreciate but at the same time i feel like maybe there is no drama and that's why the noise is less um you know for pg anyways um ignore the slide this was for the genesis guys uh we kind of like wanted to prank them with why we shutting down but anyways you know this was i'm just moving forward um All right so from the pg's perspective uh currently i wait someone's got the mic on i guess yeah um can you guys can everyone see the screen uh, is couple of them streaming um i'm not sure if we hit the limit or not um if the stream is full i think we need uh, we need somebody else to share the screen any volunteers yes please thanks um join join the other stream if um, you know forza has put up another stream so join the other stream if the stream is full okay perfect so um pg's core sectors six of them and that's gamify edufy ordinals ai gaming deepen gamblefy brand identity and decentralized investments what we what we mean mean by this is our six months to one year target first is to focus on the six sectors and the last six seven months we've been working on these sectors a common question and the problem that projects faced in the future in the past was um you know not necessarily to name this i'm not doing this to name and shame but it is it is a there there is a pro, there are projects that are genuinely failed there are projects that genuinely rugged right so 
um, you know, there are many projects that failed, right? And why did a lot of many projects, why did many projects fail is because they took a lot of things. Um, the genuine ones who didn't want to rug, right? For example, our, uh, we were very close with Lama was before and Lama had posted in his tweet as well. Why did Lama was fail was because they took up too many things than they could handle. So when you look at six sectors here, the question that could come in mind is, oh, Shan, how are you going to make it sustainable? Um, uh, isn't the team going to be burnt out? How are you going to ensure the quality is maintained across the six different sectors or eight sectors or 10 sectors as we scale up? The answer is simple, right? We learn from mistakes of ourselves and also learn from mistakes of others. Out of all the six sectors, you, st you guys will start noticing that each of these sectors has its own team lead and each of these sectors has its own team underneath. So not one or two team members would be working on the different sectors there. And I'll, I'll explain as well how that works. So for example, uh, before we go on this screen, I, ho I expect you guys not to share it public yet. Please hold on, right? So these are our investors um, that we have lined up that have invested in at least one of PG's products out of the two or three products, at least one of them. Um, so you guys have got some recognizable names there. We haven't made any of this public, right? By the way, just so I, ex I hope you guys can keep it within yourselves for now till things are made public. So Julio, Zeneca, Ice Coffee, co-founder of uh, Spirit Dow, Dingerling, Rail, Amar is the co-founder of Revolving Games, KC, ETAP, Elena, Shiv, Thomas, TT0X is from Sino Global, we from Ether, Pons, uh, Mickey from Web3 Arcadia, Meta Alchemist is the co-founder of CD5, Ghost uh, is a PG Gen holder and an influencer running his gaming guild, Maverick, I think you guys would know, and Ben Sharbet is the founder of Animoca subsidiary, uh, Device. There's few more of the way, a uh, few more of the founders that join later um, and KOLs, but as you guys can see, it is not an easy feat trying to get even one of these names um you know let alone all these names in any of pg's branded products right so i hope also that people also appreciate that we were not sleeping but we were see, like you know silently working in the back end um to try and get us you know when we drop the product in q2 gtm is strong the names are strong and the product is also strong and the backing will also be strong right so sison capital um is a wing of Credit Saison, um, which is in, it's a Japanese credit company, which has got about $30 billion funds under management. Sublime Ventures, um, their wing of, uh, they have a wing called Based VC, where you can reach to the communities like Neo Tokyo, CyberKongs, and multiple other communities, Steady Stacks, and all. So, Busbridge Capital, uh, Busbridge Capital is based in Japan. Uh, Ticker Capital is based in uh, uh, Korea. Uh, founded by one of the co-founders is Eat Apple, uh, who leads one of the largest Korean, you know, marketing agencies and groups. Uh, Buzzbridge Capital in Japan, founded one of the founders is Web3 Honey. So let me share who Web3 Honey is as well. So Web3 Honey is the founder of uh, Basie Japan, Basie, Basie Azuki, I mean, Azuki Japan and Doodles Japan. Um, so Buzzbridge Capital is one of our investors as well. So it was very strategic. We wanted to reach the Japanese market. We want to reach the Korean market. Um, OIG is based in Scandinavia. Uh, Saison is based in Singapore. Sublime is based in Canada, US. And Aquarify is based in Dubai, right? So we were very strategic with who we brought in as investors, apart from just the KOLs and stuff. Yeah, so when we have to reach That's the good. market. Guys, please mute if you have to talk. Please, it's, we have spent a lot of time and effort um, and also have my energy as well. So <laughs> so I hope uh, uh, we can just respect and mute uh, if you have to talk. Um, so yeah, I mean, so the, these are our... Oh my. I think it's our mic in Muro. Yep, I muted him. All right. So um, anyways, so as I was saying, um, you know, essentially these are our investors in our products. And as you guys go, I'll show next one. <clears throat> so the first out of the six sectors um, that we're working on is the brand identity part. Um, we had been not known for our art. We have not been known for our 
let's say, you know, known as an art project or as an IP. Uh, but from a public perspective, uh, we realized how important um, it is to, you know, have that, uh, you know, that narrative where people don't spend time asking which collection do I enter? Should I enter? What collection do I enter? Why is the art like this? I'm not a fan of the art. Art is whatever, right? Remember that we launched PG with 333 and a 0.05 ETH with no VC backing, with no plan except being an alpha group. We evolved into much bigger than that. If me and Jamie had known that someday we will be having thousands of ETH of volume and thousands of holders and that we'll pump from 0.05 to like 20, 25 ETH and stay even at 5, 6 ETH in this kind of a market, I don't think we would have believed when we started this. So as iconic as the Genesis art is, and the Gen 2s and Fusions, a lot of them are not a big fan of it. And I think by now, we're aware. And um, it's kind of hard for a guy from outside to enter the ecosystem because of multiple collections that are there in PG, right? Genesis, Fusion, um, Gen 2, etc. right? So what are we doing here is we are merging the entire PG collection, Genesis, Fusion, and Gen 2, um, into one single 10k and also providing an exit for the Jiraverse holders who minted, held, or those who bought above 0.05. Those who bought below 0.05, we figure out something, but for now, we want to first make sure that those who spent a little bit of money or minted, we want to uh, give them find, I mean, give them a way out, uh, give them more value than at least what they spent as 0 0.045. Where is Java? Yeah, yeah, I think okay. <clears throat> Anyways, so um so we are merging all the collection into a single 10k new art. Um it's been in, uh, it was one of the hardest things I would say. Um in uh, you know so here you can see the team lead is Amrish. Easily one of the hardest things to do who is having an existing art, multiple collections to merge, probably the first time ever in the space. And also coming up with an art that can resonate, but also uh, resonate with the old image, but also not screw up our brand identity and our legacy. So we hired a team. Uh, we don't want to, as I say, we don't want to brand it as Marvel artist and guy who worked for Game of Thrones and stuff like that. That used to be the 2021-2022 formula. But legit, um, these guys whom we hired have never done an NFT collection before. Worked for legit, uh, you know, Marvel comics, and um, they've done a lot of things. First time entering the NFT space. It is not to the level of One Piece, but at the same time, it's not a community art like how we had for Gen 2s and Fusion before. Real artists real guys who have won awards and skills uh, with, with a solid skill set and have also done some real comics. So when we announce the name, you guys can check, you can check their, um, you know, their background and stuff, but don't expect the own one piece level or Dragon Ball Z artist and stuff. We are too poor for that. And I went to Japan and tried to meet few artists. It's not easy getting them as well. So <laughs> we tried all possible things. We tried 10, 15 designs. And finally we kind of came up with Two, three design, two designs. We did a pre-survey. I think some of you might remember there was a survey done. You guys wouldn't even know it was for us, but we asked you to fill it. Uh, some questions like side profile, friend profile, um, and whatever, you know. So uh, we collected a lot of data from Web 2 and Web 3. Uh, I think more than 150 plus um, after the deck was made. I think more than 150 plus uh, people from different groups, uh, people that know PG, but people that do not know PG, uh, people that don't don't even know what's NFT, we just got a different data and uh, came to a unanimous conclusion on what works as a PFP, whether it's a friend-facing one or a side-facing one, etc. So definitely, it's not a friend-facing one. So I could tell that. And then um, Amrish went on a call on a feedback session with one-on-one -on -one with people like uh, Mutt, uh, what is that uh, Maverick, um, Grail, uh, Dingaling. Uh, so a mix of whales and mix of OGs, uh, Rockstar, uh, Jonas Blaine. So we had a mix of people, De definitely DJ, people from different walks of life, 
but PG Gen holders, whales like Dingaling, of course, who whose support we all need. Um, you know, whales have to support you know, us, and they have to uh, also be there. At the same time, we also have to respect OGs. So it was not like something like Azuki where we just came and be like, hey, this is the elementals. Here you go. But rather, we learned from everyone's mistakes and. We were we went through doing a survey, made sure we get a whale support, make sure um, you know those guys are happy. I know art as such, everyone cannot be satisfied, but at least the majority is the OGs and the whales. If they're happy, uh, you know more than half the task is done. And we sincerely do hope when the art is dropped that you also keep this in mind that we did the things right way, we used the right people. It was like, you know, I think six months back, we didn't know, we couldn't even get access to Dingaling, but now getting on calls with him, getting his feedback and stuff, it's super valuable, right? Again, one of the biggest whales in the space, uh, like, you know, Dinga, Grail and them, giving their feedback um, is super valuable. And I hope no matter what, you guys support the team, um, that we have done the best in terms of art. And, you know, we have taken things into consideration. Um, you know, I hope I can show the mirror board but it's such a chaotic stuff. It was months of work, um, you know, created a lot of mood boards with a lot of references. Uh, Tata uh, Shin, Shin's been involved in the art process from almost day one, uh, community member and a team member. So we had have people work with us from the community as well. Um, you know, not just, you know, take decisions ourselves, but to help, um, use a mix of whales, OGs and, you know, uh, team members. The reasoning for consolidation um, is multiple collections has led to a confusion. Segregation is a lack of unity. And by merging, we become one single PG identity from the outside. But from the inside, the perks vary, right? The Genesis perks will still continue to yeah. continue. There will only be three, three, three roles. And that will still continue to continue, right? Uh, IP limitations uh, with Godzilla design, we are not able to proliferate in the IP market. Despite having a lot of opportunities and getting a lot of opportunities, we are not able to pursue because of Yep. So um, IP limitations, um, unified user base. Kind of weird how PG Genesis has made has as high as 17th rank in NFT inspect, and now at like 30-ish. Uh, Gen 2's at 57, and Fusion's at 107. Creating a unified art would mean our representation is a lot more, um, and also the trade optimization, learning from the mistakes, crowded, noisy trade combos, and no trade hierarchy. Um, you know, just all over the place. And, uh, you know, so making it personal brand worthy. So these are the four main reasons. And I hope you guys can also understand uh, why we are doing this now uh, with the 10K one single collection. Um, the Genesis Gen 2 Fusion merged, meaning there's no first class, second class, third class tier citizens. But from outside, we are all one. Right. Our future plan for the brand identity, first is to get into the top seven in NFT inspect. Um, at our peak with the Genesis, Fusion and Gen2 representation, we were very close. If we add all of them, we would have been very close to top 10. Um, so now our aim is to get into the top seven, um, you know, in, in the representation wise, uh, brand recognition is very important, whether there's utility or not, I think brand representation is important. So coming to the airdrop, I think a lot of confusion and questions there. Um, a drop for the Genesis, it's going to be 10 of the new NFTs plus a role. Um, the role will be called whatever. Uh, at, at this stage, I'm saying it, I'm calling it Invest Illuminati, but the name could be anything. Fusion, it'll be getting three drops, um, but anyone who's got a Fusion Legendary will be getting four, right? So Fusion Legendary gets one more. Gen 2s will be one is to one, okay? So anyone with a Gen 2 rare, uh, sorry, Gen 2, fu uh, sorry, fusion, uh, Gen 2 legendary will be treated in the same category as Genesis legendary. So there'll be totally 20 legendaries in the collection. So Gen 2 legendaries and Genesis legendaries will be the 20 pieces, one is to one of the existing art. All the Genesis will have one is to one art um, of their existing design with the merging with the new one. 
Um, what else is there? Right. So there is a total of 10,000 pieces out of which 8,500 will be airdropped to Genesis, Fusion and Gentoos. We have a, quite a few Gentoos in our treasury as well. Um, so we will be having 8,500 airdropped. 500 will be uh, in the treasury and 1,000 will be sold to people outside our community where we are going to around, go around doing AMAs and stuff with presentation and product to attract new audience. But the flow price or the pricing of that would be decided close to our close to the mint, and it will be a locked. It will be a lockup. So only those of them, your friends or family potentially, or people from other communities, there'll be like twenty five to thirty spots per community, twenty twenty to thirty communities at most. It'll be at a discount to the flow, probably thirty percent, twenty five percent, or even fifty percent, depending on where our flow stands. But the entire funds, as always, is going back into the development of our, I'll show what it is, of PG cap. More importantly, what, what we want to do is, whitelist is what attracts attention back to a project. So with 1,000 spots where people know that they're getting a severe discount, a lot of new community we are partnered with, like Plague um, and uh, you know Saints and a lot of other communities where they want to enter PG, but they don't know what PG is. With this new 10K collection, having 1,000 spots that can go for, um, you know, like a, a locked up sale, like a vested sale um, to attract audience. For Jiraverse and Jira Walks, it's pretty simple. 500 pieces plus have been or will be fractionalized with uh, a floating protocol. I think you guys are aware or maybe not aware of floating protocol. So floating protocol is uh, it allows NFTs to be fractionalized. So we're going to be fractionalizing um, you know, uh, about 500, 600 assets out of the 8,500 8, and would be allowing all those who fill the form on the Jiraverse, if you have filled the form, if you bought four, five, six or whatever, over a particular amount, you will be getting one new NFT airdropped. So meaning, I'm just giving an example. Let's say it's four. If you had minted four Jiraverse and still hold it, for every four that you have, you might you might be getting one new NFT. If you hold one, you'll get one fourth as a fraction, which you can accumulate and claim it from the vault, or you can sell it at floating protocol for one fourth of the flow price. Floating protocol allows liquidity for NFTs. So, with this model, we can give exit to JiraWorks holders. JiraWorks never went over 0.01, so we'll be using Jira Voxels and Jira the leftover JiraWorks for other ways to claim some airdrops and other things burn to claim and stuff like that. So we're doing our best to try and at least, you know, give back value to, um, you know, the Jiraverse minters who trusted and minted and still hold, or those who swept and still hold. It's not perfect. Um, you know, yes, Jiraverse, we wanted to have different plans, the market fucked up. I don't want to give that blame. However, the truth is the market really fucked up and we couldn't move forward with just voxels and sandbox. We bought a lot of sandbox land. It was a loss. We bought uh, NFT worlds. It was a loss. Nothing we were able to do with the voxel. So we have to agree that it failed. But you minted for 0.075. You get back piece of uh, the new asset, which will be worth 0.075 or more. Okay. So this is our way of at least trying to solve solve it. Um, you know, instead of being like, sorry guys, you know, you, we, we couldn't do anything and just put Jira West holders in like, you know, in limbo, rather you minted or bought for 0.05 and above, you get fractions or those who bought below 0.05, we'll try to work out something. Okay. We, there's no, there, we definitely will try to work out some burn to claim or some stuff like that. But uh, this is pretty much the plan. Uh, we are also creating a Jira profile. Jira ID in our website with a new website and new branding um, based on experience, expertise, skill sets, and region. So everything in the future will be on the website. So you go and connect your wallet. You'll have a, you'll have your Jira profile set up, and you can have access to Discord, access to Telegram, everything based on your roles that you're going to be connecting on the website. So we're moving away from a role-based utility to a trade-based utility. All the Genesis holders. <laughs> All the Genesis holders will get this role, and that role will give them the Genesis ut utility. But what we are also creating is, for the first time ever, we are allowing something where the roles could be rented out. So let's say you can't afford a gen, um, you can't afford a Genesis. 
what you got to do is at least hold one of the new asset and you can rent out a genesis role from a genesis holder and you swap his place for 7 days or 14 days or 28 days right to get access to get a feel or to get air drops or whatever during that period so allowing the genesis who are not active or do not have funds or do not want to participate in some ico or whitelist for that week or something or they're going on a vacation they could rent out the roles because they're not active and they don't want to you know this thing but they still want to hold on to their roles the genesis holders uh, who hold more than one for each role that you have you're going to get value but in the future if you sell even one of the 10 to come back into the genesis you have to apply so everyone who has to enter genesis has to hold a minimum 10 of the new nfts so which is why i always told fusion is super undervalued because each fusion is getting 3 so anyone that holds 3 fusions and a gen 2 or 10 gen 2s can apply to enter your application is very simple process who who, who are you who, i mean like basically what's your background or what's your this thing why do you want to come in just two or three lines and the existing genesis holders can vote who can come in so there'll be a maximum 333333 roles at any given time i'll just take a pause here if there's any questions uh if you got any questions you can come on space or you can chat uh you can just put it in the <clears throat> you know put it in the uh, the uh, chat box so in short um Again, I don't like to do numbers, but if we end up with a 10k collection at 0.5 ETH flow, each fusion could get 1.5 ETH worth of drop. Each Genesis gets a 0.5, which, which is our minimum target, which I think we should be able to achieve with all our whales and support. I think we should be able to achieve that. Any plans for the DAOs for fusion? For now, the DAOs will be paused. Um, it's very hard. Um, the expectations from the team is really high. Master Catalog has been killing it, but still, it's not easy. We have a lot of things to tackle. we'll rework how things work you guys fuse two gen 2s to get a fusion so we are giving you back three so you know i hope you know for starters that's fine those who have been working really hard for fusion we will be looking to take them into the pg team right with the with the new funds and stuff um especially with the 10000 sales so they'll be coming in as a council or a core team for a not core team like a council potentially for them like master catalog watch the aku and all um, you know which uh, and all those guys who have been helping with the dows to join and work with us and try to take a portion of work from us and in return also get some monetary benefits uh because we do not want uh you know people to just work for free and master catalog has been killing it right he's brought so many people into fusion um, sentinel is easily number 1 out of 3 no offense to aku and wajda but honestly that's the truth and he's been like really killing it so those guys he who is he has identified in the in the dows or sentinels or whatever builders and whatever we'll try, we'll we'll have a separate group where these guys can work under us instead of trying to let you guys run it by yourself so that is what we want to do um we have to accept certain things where it fails it is we were too early a lot of things we are too ahead of our time we did a pub we, i don't know how many of you remember a lot of things we did is way ahead of time starting a small collection doing a pre sale Uh, like you know when we sold the gen 2s as a as a as a you know pre sale when they didn't exist we did it with a form like a google form and we did dows and then a lot of people like walala and other people announced we did pg capital one year back and now probably 20 30 projects are doing that a lot of things we do first but we just don't make enough noise so fusion dow was one of that we started first but there are some flaws to dows so uh yeah so um bro so can you talk about jiraverse again what utility or what benefit they have for this 10k collection so each jiraverse that was bought above 0.05 eth that or minted for 0.075 eth which is anybody the max mint was 0.075 so anybody who bought above 0.05 or 0.075 would get a fraction of the new asset so meaning if the asset's new value is 0.3 eth or 0.4 eth which is the flow One fourth of that would be a piece that will be given to each Jiraverse, so you can sell it in floating protocol. Um, if you have minted four, um, you know, and you have minted four, or you swept four, or you still hold four, you get one new drop. So meaning, um, you know, meaning that 
if you just held three or four, you get your payback. Um, you know, at, at the value of point oh seven five or above. Fusion bottleneck and many ideas we got uh, to launch got disapproved, but no offense, he killed it. It was based around community. It got halted and we couldn't move forward. I'm not blaming anybody at all for Fusion. I just told uh, basically that it didn't work. Um, a lot of expectations were needed from us and we also have some responsibility. If something was uh, um, accepted by the Fusion team and if it goes forward, if something bad happens, it'll fall on PG. The PG brand is still stuck to the DAO no matter what. So... Everybody give their best, um, but honestly, uh, you know, it is basically just didn't work the way it is. So we have to relook at it. All the fusion stuff, we want rather them to work closely with us than to segregate it as fusion. So, yeah. Uh, mentioned there was uh, limitations to Godzilla Heart. So merged collection means we'll move away from Godzilla Heart and then something completely new. Um, our own IP, yes. Elements of hygiene. Kaiju is a common term, not Kaiju Kings. Elements of Kaiju will be there. Um, so it won't look, the art won't look the same way it is, but you'll see the elements. When you look at it, you'll know it is taken or derived from the PG art. Do the benefits scale in tens per asset? If I mean I could own 25, I should scale up to 30 or sell 5 when it comes to utility. Um, no, no benefits scaling up as per 10. We want unique holders. We want to promote individual genesis holders so um having and separate 10 um would you know you would have every asset will have access to something which is airdrops access to ideos and stuff each asset right not just genesis or fusion or whatever so each asset gets you let's say for example each asset gets you 200 dollars worth of ico per week just an example if you have 10 you're going to get two thousand dollars if you have 20 you're going to get four thousand but genesis will get a booster for having 10 plus Genesis roll, you'll get 2x the airdrops, you'll get 2x the allocations. Just an example, right? So I think the best thing to do uh, for those who want to try and enter Genesis is, um, or who, who are already in Genesis, you're going to start at the roll. If no one sells the Genesis, you can't come in. Um, but if you have 10 and apply, I'm sure someone's going to sell. If you have 10 and you apply, and if you have some voice in the space or you're regularly doing something, thread writer, like, like, you know, or some kind of uh, collab manager or something that you have that you can contribute or an investor or a high net worth individual or a whale or whatever, you need 10 and you apply and the existing holders of the Genesis have to let you in. So the max role is still 333. <laughs> Um, yes, Adis, 100%. Uh, I think all three tried in the start. But yeah, I think uh, definitely some flaws. But uh, thanks for you guys. We'll definitely make sure the Fusion staff is rewarded as well um, for all the effort. And we would still would want you guys to continue to work with us. Wouldn't someone have uh, someone of the 333 have to leave in order to let someone in? Exactly. Exactly why having a Genesis now is a guarantee that we... But not having a genesis now, you have to wait for someone to leave. The way we have been bringing in whales, like I don't know who else is who else we have to bring in. Um, I'll just share my. You guys can see my screen, right? Let me share something here. This is the real PG cabal, and it's gonna be open, or there'll be a clear way how to get in here. Here, you guys can see Neil, Evan, uh, uh, Z, Chenin from Sison Cap, Mav, Ghost. I love fish and chips. Teddy, uh, Teddy is also a OG gen holder. JG Happy Buddha is a whale slash this thing. CBB OFE is the um, the largest blur bidder. Dingaling Conga, Ponds, Ice Coffee, co-founder of Spirit Dow, Lififo. So Mickey from Web3 Arcadia. So this group is one of our cabals in that sense, and where we are creating um, a real chat environment where we are building the PG thing forward. If guys are gonna get pissed that. We are segregating people. Please understand our floor would have been at one ETH if we didn't have the whale support. So I hope people do appreciate or understand that certain elements have to be done. We are very transparent here. I didn't have to show this. I'm showing this because this is how we built. This is how we got the whale support. This is how the whales start coming in one by one. Uh, Grail, Cypher Cap, uh, CD5, whatever, right? And we also have this chat with the PG Genesis. 
uh, whoever has been investing in a lot of deals you guys can see there was a lot of deal flows we just couldn't bring them in publicly yet because of the pg cap 2.2 it will go next but we brought in a lot of deal flows all this will be available for every single asset holder from q2 not just genesis not this this thing so that is why each asset will have its own value uh you know we got like crazy amount of spots like revolving games ultiverse and everything right but moving forward we don't want this kind of segregation okay so this 10k is amazing 333 will be the cream of the cream so the genesis will definitely have its value but how do you get in genesis money can't buy in you have to have 10 and you have to apply to get in right so um so the basic thing is we have been offering a lot of these deals as a test we were trying with small number the telegram chat was 10 people then we went to 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 100 and right so we are building this to make it easier for you guys instead of being a dead project and a floor of 0.01 we are building something towards a bigger one right now if i ask our whales to sweep the floor they will sweep it but what's the point right now when the announcements are going to be made we will tap into all our network all our whales every single one we've been helping a lot we've been helping or uh, working closely with so many whales on a regular basis building a good relationship but never asked them for a favor or something right when the time comes the pg is not just a nomi group like what people used to call us now we have a series of whales which were not there 6 months back like you know that group as i showed you i don't know who else can we add in right so um the spirit dow members and some of the d gods some of the you know blurb farmers etc we don't i don't want to make this you know just make this noise and stuff unnecessarily but you'll see as we go to the next part of the slides right so essentially gentus fusion genesis jiravers are all merging into one uh if you get a genesis and i own let's say 30 of my assets will my allocation be three times bigger than a normal genesis potentially yes james but sometimes genesis might get priority might that which might not even flow down right it if it gets eaten up in genesis some of those we can't like you know sometimes the ticket sizes are 100k it might not even flow down to other assets okay so that is why genesis is still so having 30 assets is gives you more access than a genesis yes but priority as priority will go to genesis a little bit uh, even if we say an airdrop is going to be split 33% for genesis and 66% for others that 33% is more valuable for the 333 people um then the 66% that goes to the entire you know uh, this thing so there will be value but genesis will still have its perks will have its priority not as much as it is now i mean not as as uh, unclear as it is now because i'm like what's happening with pg cap we have invested in 20 projects but where is the access to the gentos where is the access to fusion all those would be cleared okay um can you please share what is the plan for those who will lose access to pg ecosystem but have invested in pg projects you still can access the portal only to see your investments but you can't invest more so you won't lose any of those okay any questions any doubts there's no nothing as a stupid question so please do ask and clarify because it's a very very big move right so jirax uh, we are going to rebrand it into a new token we have learned again we have done a chain token we have done an on chain token the tokens are just to buy time so we are going to change the way how it's done all your jirax earning so far will be taken into account for airdrop right what the airdrop is and stuff will come later um, you know when the product is dropped but each of your jirax earning not the spends right so whatever you earn so burn whatever stuff you want don't have to worry that i burned this i saved this and stuff whatever you have earned and you still hold a pg asset um you know it will be available clj still get access to pg discord we haven't thought about it yet but uh, we'll definitely not against it this is just an access to discord yes for those of us who don't have too much liquidity single gen to holders are still just as important with the move is this a correct assumption 100% the i would say that the most the ones who are going to get the best benefits in terms of monetary value and flow price would probably be gentus like i can't like 
I'm just giving an example, right? If we have a 10k floor and a 0.5 ETH selection and a 0.5 ETH floor, just as a conservative number, the ones that are going to benefit the most is Gen 2s at the very least, right? What are pudgy rods? Why do people have pudgy rods despite no use case or whatever? Is because of the brand. If the brand is strong, it doesn't matter what the NFT is, whether it's a pudgy rod or a little pudgy people are buying, right? So here, each asset will have access. So Genesis will have 10 of the same assets that you guys have one of. So if Genesis is getting 10x allocation, you guys get one of the allocation. Right? So in my, again, in my personal opinion, probably people are sleeping on fusion just based on the ratio of one is to three and stuff. Um, it's going to be a very unique move. It's going to make a no lot of noise in the space, new art, merge. When people are diluting, we are consolidating. So yeah. Everything is a rumor until it, it comes from us. Um, you know, certain projects we help, certain projects we jump in to try and assist them. Uh, but doesn't mean that, you know, that we are behind it and stuff. So um, we helped Pixelmon, we helped a lot of projects. So it doesn't mean we are, and also Bliff, I'm posting a lot about Bliff and Opal. So anything until it comes from us, it's a rumor. The only thing we have confirmed so far is Maxis. Okay, so regarding that Chan, I'm going to go into the next slide and you'll understand, right? So this is basically the brand identity part. The lead is English. Next up is PG Capital. PG Capital, which has been one of our most successful uh, ventures. Uh, 3.5 mil race in the last few months, um, you know, led by Ken. Uh, 3.5 mil without even then involving the whole community. It's just with 100 people. Um, we have invested in Valeria Games, Mon Protocol. Which is Pixel Mon, Imaginary Ones, Pocket Universe, Chrono Forge, Super Oracles. Uh, pretty much, you know, creating our own name there. I mean, we've been doing this from ages before it became cool. We are advisors for Valeria Games. We are the lead investors and advisors for Valeria, um, you know, which has been one of the top projects in the space currently and also by a lot of whales. Uh, Darewise, uh, which is uh, Opal and Sparks and Revolving Games to an advisory capacity. Uh, why it is important is because we support Beyond Capital. Uh, we provide, as you guys can see here, uh, our names amongst Animoca and other VCs and here amongst other angels and stuff for Chronoforge. Uh, we help them with connects. We help them with community support and also expertise. The why is because it democratize, democratizes the investment opportunities, a strong source of revenue for PG without having to drop more and more collections, early access to carefully curated token pre-sales. Future plans, we are already in works with Sison Capital. It's a, you know, one of the VCs to create PG Cap 2.0. Working towards two things with PG Cap 2.0. Number one, managed fund. So each asset that you hold will give you an access to deposit X amount of dollars per month that will automatically be invested in uh, IDOs and other ventures and airdrop accordingly as and when it unlocks. So allowing people to be stress-free, um, not financial advice and stuff, but Tyson Cap as a VC has done pretty well for themselves and we have been investing pretty well. Imagine missing out on opportunities and stuff. So each asset that you hold will allow you to mint X amount of uh, you know, tokens a month. That tokens are basically a one is to one to USD. So that means you have invested in the PG, uh, managed fund which means that fund would be invested in different projects we become a vc essentially and distribute back the airdrops to holders a lot of legal teeth which we are fulfilling now and clearing it up so pg cap 2.0 one of that and pg cap 2.0 is another thing that's going to be super beneficial that's mainly for genesis is something where passive and something drops and something investments so 333 Genesis, the value is not just on investment opportunities. Every asset gets an opportunity to invest. Every asset gets an opportunity to deposit. But PG333, you just need to hold the role and sleep. So that's, that's the aim. So this is where the value would be. Every asset gets access. Every asset gets chance. But the 333 roles, even if they don't throw a single dollar in, they'll be getting something monthly. Not salary, not revenues not revenue splits and stuff but a business model that's sustainable and that can um, let's say uh, scale up 
right? So um, any questions here? Is the utility in having two roles at the same time aside from renting? Uh, add drops are two times, access is two times, renting you can rent one or two roles. Yeah, I think of course, and I don't want to encourage people to have two. Not that I don't. I, there is no way in hell that in future anyone can get two roles. So who holds two or three now? It's honored, and they'll get three x whatever happens. But in future we want like three, three, three unique holders. That's that's the aim. So, um, I'm not saying you don't hold more than one Genesis. I'm just saying that um, after the merge, you can't get two Genesis roles even if you want to, except the ones who hold it before the merge, which is happening in Q2, 100%. Or Ambrish is losing his job, and um, you know that's 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 the deal here. So uh, Q2, which is very soon, we are targeting V1. Don't hold me to it, but we are targeting V1 for the merge. We are done pretty much, uh, but yeah, May one is pretty much the target, uh, target for our merge and the mint and the drop. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun. I think first time ever like a merge in a collection. It's new for most, but anyways, let's see. All right, cool. Um. Going on to the next one. So this is the second sector. So investment sector. The first one is IP. Second one is the investment sector. Third one. Lead is Kemuri. Kevin, who's a PGOG. Uh, more than 20 years experience working in uh, PNG, Kraken, and Lego. He's our CMO and the lead for this product, which we have acquired and been building. VC funded. Uh, a Angels funded. I showed some of the names in the front. An ecosystem that's focusing on uh, perps, trading, playing, gamification, rewards platform with AI and data. So this is our venture into data and AI with uh, an entertainment, um, you know, strong entertainment module behind it. So uh, super strong interest. It's backed by angels and VCs, um, you know, built by like some solid, real, real solid devs and a user base of more than like 60, 70,000 already. So, you know, um, we are just uh, pulling it out. So the current problem, the NFTs are boring and people do not know where to start. Newcomers are lost, even for cryptos, not just NFTs. So we are tackling into crypto and NFT market in overall. So we want to make NFTs entertaining, fun, and safe for newcomers. Um, you know, so essentially, um, you know, we don't want the, the way the thing, the way NFTs are currently. People are not even looking at it. We want to change that. Let's bring back the fun that existed in 2021 and 2022 and create a win-win game than like a PvP game that's in NFTs are currently now and same thing with cryptocurrencies. So it is our turn to gamify, edify and data, right? So future plans, a business model and ecosystem of products uh, to capture what Web3 DGNs love doing the most. A rough milestone Q1, Q2 MVP. Uh, plus private round um, and then Q2 to Q3 TGE so which is next quarter and more seed rounds later but we are pretty much done with around two rounds of seed race uh, we are ready to launch in Q2 and um, you know you will be using the product without knowing it's us that is our aim so hopefully we can uh, keep up that excitement and when it goes to the level of hype that let's say block games have and then announcing that it's us that's the that's the thrill that we need so um anyways so this one we can't we, we can't reveal the name yet but it's been funded a vc funded and angels backed and our venture into gamify edufy and you know powered by data and ai so um any questions So this product is going to be one of the ones with the highest and the best airdrops for PG holders. Each asset based, our uh, own product now, you know, with, with proper listings, etc. Monthly vestings and all those things. This is our bet. One of the bets. Let's say one of the bets. Right. 
So um, this is what we've been working really hard on. And when you see it, you will see it. But, you know, anyways, I'll stop here. But pretty much this is our bed and gamify Jufai. Any questions before I go to our next sector? This is what Jira X is turning into. One of the things, maybe. <laughs> so you'll see, this is a third sector, right? I'll go into the next and you guys will see. Why I'm showing this is because, see the difference between PG and other projects is that each of these projects have a team lead and a separate team under them. Would not, it just does coincide with other products. But we don't have to rely on anyone to airdrop us. We do not have to rely on anyone to drop us <laughs> And I don't want to waste my energy trying to go and talk to people to give us airdrops. Although I'm working on it already here and there. Right. So I don't want to go and force people to do that. And it's a one-time thing and it won't work. Right. So this is our, so we have potential, all right. A potential drop from PG cap, a potential drop from this gamify edufi, all our products where we don't need to go and stand for anyone. And each has its own team. And then they're running it by themselves. Okay. So let me just, who's me who's making some noise? Just, just hope, like I hope all of us here could be matured enough to also understand that it's, we are trying to build an empire and not like a one time pump and dump. So this has been things under work. And when you see the product, you'll realize that shit, this, there's so much of work's gone. Third one is Ordinal's TOC, uh, head by Shin, uh, has been single handedly been killing it. We get, give exposure to so many PG holders, uh, you know, through to, through a fifty dollar mint. Uh, keep bringing access to ordinals. We were one of the earliest, um, you know, and um, you know, got a lot of them got access. Omojis, Gen One for like peanut price, Satoshi snakes, um, you know, a lot of projects, right? And also, we introduced people to ordinals before ordinals was cool, and um, right now, you know has been working on, been trying a lot of, uh, you know, alphas, trying to, you know, put our name in the in the ordinal space. So, um, yeah, I think this is our venture. We are not going to stop here. We've been bringing a lot of IDO opportunities, BDC IDO opportunities to dead Jira holders, Liquidium, Odza, uh, Xverse, a lot of, um, you know, IDO opportunities for dead Jira holders from the BTC side. So those of you who are bullish on the ordinal side, I think dead Jiras, the artwork of Dead Jiras, even if we want to change, we can't change. So if PG as a brand is going to move forward and Dead Jira becomes the legacy art, you know, the only one with actually the old art, I think, you know, that the value could be there. So, um, you know, it's really credits to Shin uh, for handling this and, uh, you know, bringing us a lot of opportunities. So many people evolved into a PG Genesis holder from, um, you know, from Ordinals. So... I'm really happy that we never shied away from this because a lot of times we stay away from the, you know, the meta, but not this time. This is one that we actually went in. So yeah, we got some hyped whitelists again, Quantum Cats, PMB, Mikan, Fomojis, Incon, BTC and stuff. So what else? Non-palliative, yes, Genesis Catalyst, uh, that's what I mentioned. And, uh, you know, Ordinals, people are considering now it as the best, best, best ecosystem. And it's, the volume is crazy. The investment is crazy. And no, no Jeets like, you know, that exists in Solana and ETH. So um, anyways, so Ordinals, I think those who are not aware, that's our bet into the Ordinal system and TOC and stuff. Got my ruin, ruins cause of TOC and pans. I'm really, really happy that, you know, in one way or the other, we have brought so many people into Ordinals. And continuing to still be, no one can change history that we are one of the ones under 50k and under 10k um, launches, under uh, 70k and under 100k launches. So, um, anyways, so uh, that's for Ordinals. Our fifth venture, the lead is Jamie. This is one of our biggest, biggest, biggest bets in gaming and AI and deeping. Our own nodes. Right, so this is something people are not aware, or of course they're not. It's not made public. Some of the top. Who's this? Yep. So this is our biggest, biggest uh, bet on the AI gaming deepen funds raised already. Notes coming soon. Uh, access to PG, of course. Uh, drops, etc. 
So AI gaming and Deepin, so PG's step or venture into that. Jamie's ex Counter Strike Pro. Um, I didn't know this until a few months back. But he's built a product that transforms the way people play games, secured partnership with the top, like two of the top esports teams in the in the world uh, who have come in as investors and uh, advisors, uh, investment from top whales and KLs in the space. Um, you know, I don't have to say more. AI gaming deepen uh, the current. It's Jamie was building this for seven months before it is the it was cool, all right. So before AI was cool, before deepen or nodes were cool, uh, you saw Aether nodes today raise seventy million dollars, and people are begging for a lot of nodes. But this is an many are not actual nodes. This is an actual node uh, with proper GPU, etc. But yeah, more info soon. But Essentially, we are tackling into a three hundred plus billion dollar market. Primary target on the pro gamers, content creators, and esports. Guys, each of these products are separately funded. Not one funding from that we raise from holders. No way in hell we can build all these things with half a million or one million raise. It is all individual funding from different VCs, different angels, and different uh, investors. And each of them have their own separate team for us to build this right. So, uh, first product discount for PG holders, some airdrops, etc. More info later. Uh, rough milestones Q2 marketing and launch by early Q3 or maybe even Q2. But yeah, the secondary markets are GPU miners, gamers, and audience, AI audience, and esports fans, content creators, and pro gamers. This is one of our biggest ventures or bets uh, that Jamie is leading, and nobody else from PG team is on the team except Jamie. So that is how we have set everything up, right? So we are tackling, so far we have seen uh, IP sector, investment investment sector through PG cap. Um, then we saw the Edufy, Gamify data as number three, AI gaming deep in as number four, um, and uh, TOC ordinals as number five, right? So this is pretty much our bet or into the fifth sector. Any questions here? Do AI gaming need beta, beta testers? I think they do have a quite a lot of beta testers, but it's very hard. We don't want to reveal or leak it to the audience yet. Uh, but you will see Q2, Q3 is going to be huge for us. When merge Q2, um, uh, May 1. That's the target. That's the target. So Q2 definitely. 100% Q2, but May 1 is our target. Any questions, guys, on so far? It's, uh, as I said, we were not joking when we told we want to be the Y Combinator of the space to venture into different sectors, not just invest, but to build products ourselves. So that we don't have to depend on somebody to, you know, bring value to us in different sectors, but we have our own entire ecosystem. PG is BlackRock. That's our aim. Uh, but more than just a BlackRock, uh, we want to be a Y Combinator Animoca combination. That is our aim. To be a Y Combinator Animoca combination is pretty much our aim. Right. So if there's no other questions, snapshot to be announced. Yes, that's correct. Yes, uh, uh, Chan, we have that in the PG profiling. So you'll have an internal board for all those things. Yes. Do we have any involvement with Blast? Uh, PG Cap? Yes. They're working on Blast um, and Maxis, which is our final sector. So two products we are working on um, this thing. Uh, two products we are working on, um, uh, what, is it, what do I say, uh, with Blast, yes. Is that completed? Yes, I think when I stole in the start, uh, we were going through survey. So we have, we had finalized it to two different varieties or ranges. And uh, the final survey pretty much is done and um, the artwork is in full progress. Okay, cool. So the last one, I think this is something that's already public. Uh, and we don't joke when we say other products are of this quality or higher. So team leaders, myself, uh, community first gasless gaming marketplace super profitable 
integrated in Blast already, Polygon, ETH, and Bitcoin. Uh, for now, it's got a coin flip and peer to peer raffle and loan, but it's moving towards much more. A raffle, a full on casino, um, you know, flip buybacks, mint NFTs, and maxi token. Uh, Genesis pants, uh, maxi token allocations. I think we got so many opportunities for Genesis maxis for our holders here at like 0.01 when BTC was like 20,000. Now the floor is like 0.05. Um, and like, you know, it's been killing it every week with rewards and airdrops and stuff. Our expansion into the GambleFi sector. Uh, build the next generation of browser-based and on-chain game. The opportunity to own your NFTs at fraction of floor price. Four new verticals. I don't know how much I can leak here, but if you're already in the PAN server, AI-based gaming, a full-on casino, a sports book. So it's turning into our own role bit, essentially a community-based role bit, right? So Maxi's investment re request has been insane. So we might bring it to PG Cap for a small ticket, but it's been crazy demand, um, you know, in terms of... Uh, you know, for the this thing because of the numbers, what Maxis have achieved is not a joke. And a lot of casinos don't even achieve one tenth. Just with the coin flip, what numbers they've achieved is like crazy, insane, and the team is super capable. Um, and I, it's safe to say that PG holders will be getting Maxi token. So that is one of our tokens that is confirmed for all the PG holders or how it's going to be distributed, etc. is different. But your highest potential is by holding your maxi genesis but pg holders because it's one of our port core companies um pg holders will be also getting maxi token as an exposure um you know whether it's a five hundred dollar five thousand dollar or fifty dollars depends on market conditions but at least i can uh you know that's something i can confirm that we are getting drops for our holders uh, no. sorry right any questions guys Expected PG for Maxis, uh, Q2 or early Q3. So it will be June or July. How about Dead Jira holders for Maxi tokens? Uh, if it's if it's a token in BTC, then yes. <laughs> so uh, okay, so I'm going to tell you guys this alpha for Dead Jiras. You're getting Bliff token. I'd bliff by Darewise, all the dead jiras should will be getting bliff token. So you can't complain that so one of them is getting this, another one is getting that. So bliff is Animoca funded, and uh, of course, like you know, it's one of the most hyped ones. A TOC will be more like a raffle, so it'll be a Galaxy Quest, right? So TOC will be like a raffle, but all the dead jiras will be getting some exposure, some amount of tokens for bliff, all right? So um, you please don't confuse dead jiras with yep. Please don't confuse dead jiras. I don't even know what language it is to find who it is. Okay, so yeah, so dead jiras will be getting guaranteed. Uh, Mute okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't find him, guys. Who is it? Just click on the wheels to mute anyone. Which one is that? I'm really a noob, man. It's been a while. Oh, the wheels. Is this the... No. Guys, can you hear me? Please fucking mute. Oh, I'm just gonna kill your metadata. Okay, done. Cool. Perfect. So, um... Anyways. So, uh, basically... As you guys can see, uh, Dead Jiras will be working on Bliff and Tata will be running the Galaxy campaign. TOC will have like a leaderboard kind of style. So, you know, some tasks in Galaxy you complete, some people in the leaderboard will be getting it. Um, so anyways, what is PG? In short, is a next-gen investment company. 
a Web3 investment bridge that connects opportunities across holders, builders, startups, and VCs in the blockchain industry. We rub shoulders with the big boys, but also create opportunities for the little guys. We have always been about community. Uh, as you guys know, we are working for $4,000 a month. We have not burnt your funds. All the funds we have collected from you has gone to good use. These are six sectors. Hopefully in a year, there's 12 sectors. And in two years, 20, 30 sectors, and we expand. So we become not, you know, not just like one product and we bet on one product. We become the uh, Animoca. So how, what Mocha verse is to Animoca brands is what PG 10K assets is going to be to the PG verse brand. So um, let's call it the PG verse, for example, right? So PG verse consists of Maxis, Redacted AI Gaming Deepin, Redacted uh, uh, Gamify, Edufy data platform, um, and then PG Capital. So basically for now, this main four and then PG Capital. Uh, yeah, pretty much these four. Um, and ordinals and IP pretty much are bet onto the IP sectors and stuff. So, right, time for questions um, and any kind of clarifications and stuff. If anyone does not feel bullish, for whatever reason, come up on stage and tell me what else, what else you expect from a team and so that we can add. <laughs> it's not because I'm cocky or something. I'm just asking for legit, like, what can a team do uh, to put its foot in different sectors with separate teams, with separate fundings, and capturing almost every top whale and KOL in the market and space. Can you leak on redacted Edufy Gamify platform? We are hitting on a $500 billion market uh, with the Edufy Gamify. And don't think it's an education platform. Nope. It is not a video where you study some shit. Nope. One of its kind. First time ever, um, data is money. Facebook is data. Think Arkham Intelligence. Think, you know, Arkham Intelligence. I don't know if you, how many of you know about it. Think DOP, but not scammy like DOP. And, and a better Arkham Intelligence. So data is a multi, multi-billion dollar company. Uh, I mean, stream. And uh, what we have with blockchain, we realize that people are not utilizing data as well as it should be. Hence the product, hence the fundraise, and we raised the funds in a bear market. So, you know, in a bull, anything you throw is going to be going crazy. DOP scammed hard. I don't know, man. I put a lot of money. Fuck, I hope at least I get my money back. Uh, Crypto hash, there'll be a recording of the Genesis. You can probably watch it. Or if any of you got the Genesis record, it's posted here so people who have missed can watch. I'll make a proper post. Thanks. Any other generic questions or anything about us? So TLDR is basically PGs aiming to be the white combinator animoca of the space, focusing on six different sectors. IP with the merge and brand, PG cap with the decentralized investments, um, AI gaming deep in the nodes as our third sector, so separately VC funded, Gamblefy through Maxis, Ordinals to, through our, the Ordinals Club, and finally Gamify, Edufy, and Data in uh, based on uh, data to another VC funded angel invested product. So PG has never raised funds for PG itself, but PG has raised funds for different products when can we expect all to be able to participate in pg cap uh, after the merge may one clementines need help man fucking i have like 300 of that shit and 600 in the vault fuck like one of the worst buys ever alex bought a gen one during ama Oops. Okay, Alex, welcome to the Genesis Club. Are we getting black blast maxis or whatever airdrop for having conviction to PG, please? Did you miss the entire? Did you missed the entire AMA or what? <laughs> Why is this guy spamming? Is he like joking or is he actually spamming? 
uh, what will happen to Jira versus Jira works already mentioned. So those who fill the form, the with the Jira verse who minted at zero point zero seven five, um, and uh, bought from the floor above point oh five, will be getting in a, a fractionalized NFTs more than the value or equal to the value of the mint, um, and um, you know that is will will be on um, f- uh, floating protocol. So essentially, if you minted a Jira verse, don't go and dump it for zero point zero one or whatever that number is, it's waste, don't lose it. Because only if you mint it and held, you're going to get your money back in a different way through NFT fractions. <laughs> I think you guys are going to spam ArtLeak and get timed out yourself. Uh, Amrish, can you share one of the art that was cancelled recently? Don't run, tell me, answer me. Are we getting max? My blast, blast. How, how do we get blast airdrop, bro? Maxis or whatever five airdrop for having conviction to PG. Uh, should what do I don't know, man? Like, are you mocking or a few serious? But yes, you're getting maxis drop. But I don't want anyone holding just because there is maxis drop. I want people holding if they understand the vision of where PG is heading into. I minted two Jira words and held, but I didn't get to fill the forms. There anything I can do about it? Uh, for now, just hold on. Let's sort out the numbers what who filled in, and then let's try to, you know, uh, sort people out. Any Jira meetups planned for the summer? Token 2049 Dubai, uh, April 15 to 23. The team would be there, so that's pretty much for now. When will we mint the new collection? Rough estimate May one. How can holders help with PG's growth moving forward? So we are creating something called as Jira ID. Um, or whatever the name Amresh is designing, will be on the website. There you will be asked a few questions and we'll be getting your help for that. Post merge with this model, who would be PG's competitors? Would there be anybody? I think PG's competitor would be Mochaverse to an extent. To an extent. I'm not saying them, but to an extent it'll be Mochaverse, but Animoca is a giant. We are tiny fishes trying to swim up but in a decentralized, transparent way than Animoca or anybody. So not necessarily in the NFT space. So our competitors essentially would be Animoca or uh, Y Combinator in essence. So if you guys see this picture here, what is PG's sweet spot? Here, this is this gives a clear example of what it is. Since PG is sort of partnering with Sison for PG Cap, will more funds be directed to the vault by Sison? Sison is a VC that gets a lot of funds. They have a license. So allows us to manage funds of people to put into early investments, which you normally wouldn't get access for, or small guys not getting access to the bigger investments or opportunities. So basically Sison participating will help people even with $500 a month thousand dollars a month to regularly participate in early investments without having to worry about where the money is going or where the investment is like a pooled fund for early stage investments or seed investments etc To my understanding, Maxi spans next gen, ordinals, dead Jiras, rest Gojiras. That's correct, yes. But as I said, Maxi's drop also for PG holders is on. Right? So yeah. Think of PG as a brand house, seeding and incubating the sub brands, exactly. Still three DAOs or fusion to one fusion DAO. Each fusion is going to get three airdrops. So basically, you know, you can do the math there. 
So uh, the DAO structure, we are putting a pause to it um, until it becomes very clear how we can progress. Mocha partner with OKX for Mocha ID, any sex collab for PG ID. Our products have tokens when the tokens are out. Yes, we will. Don't, don't worry. Definitely a centralized exchange listing, not MEXE and not gate, but a, oh, a solid one will be in the cards. Sneak peek for art. It's uh, Amrish. Amrish if, you can, if you can share an art that was rejected, maybe. I don't know. If you want to share, that's on you. So just, just a month away. Uh, you know, you held this long with <laughs> art merge and stuff. So, yeah. Don't leak surprise. We don't need rejected art. <laughs> I think you guys can't. We, bro, guys, we have we are at the lowest possible level for an art for an art based project. Just think about it. We can't go lower than this. Like, there's nothing that can make it lower than this, right? The way it is now. So anything from here is up only. Like for the last few months, no announcements, last few months, no airdrops, last few months, no leaks. And we had this flow. I don't know what else is there for it to go down. Like, you know, uh, art wise, we're getting upgraded. Whales wise, a lot of whales have come in. Products wise, we have multi products. Maxis is one of them that's killing it. Um, and, you know, all this stuff and other AI deep in project, uh, you know, all these things is. I would I would not normally say this, but I can't see a more bottom bottom than this. Okay, and we tell art wise we are upgrading when we don't know. Because I don't see the current PG art as even like a you know like a tier B or tier C. So if that is the bottom, you can't go worse than that as an art. Like PG is never known for art. Not a single person has ever told, oh, PG's art, PG's is, a, is an art project, right? Sappy Seals, they call it cute. B BT's, even pandas, Maxi's pandas, they, they call the artist clean and nice or whatever. PG was never f known for art. So how can we go bottom than that or lower than that with a professional artist? But keep in mind, when PG started, everything was community driven. So all the artwork was done by community members. Okay, like Dennis done by Jamie, co-founder. Gentoo's was done by Gibbon um, and Jetim and uh, you know Arcade Boy. Everybody were community holders, so they're not professional artists. I actually like our PG PFP. Ajish, is that the gen holder Ajish who has not um, verified his roles? Too? Which art do you like more, Persona or the new PG art? 100% the new PG art. No fucking way. Like, I wouldn't... I, like, there's a reason why I never rep the Genesis. I like the Gen 2 art. I like the gold clean one. Uh, I'll rep only if I like it, right? I even rep the Pandas. But I've never repped the Genesis art because I actually didn't vibe with it. I'm being very honest. You're right. I never vibed with the Genesis art uh, from day one and I never repped it. I've repped the Gen 2 gold. I've repped the Panda, BTC Panda as well. Like, you know, Maxis. So when I want this new art to be something I'm proud of, something I'll rep in my life, right? So uh, that's the aim, right? So the art that we have now that's going to come out, I'm proud of it. If people are going to call it shit art, I'm going to be like, if Dingaling likes it, if Maverick likes it, if I like it, if the team likes it, and if a lot of other OGs and holders like it, sorry guys, this is not for you, right? So this, this time I can proudly say, because last time with Fusion, when there was FUD, I couldn't tell that. We didn't get, we didn't do a survey like what we did now. It's all learning from mistakes. When we did Genesis, of course, it was done by Jamie. We never had any this thing. This time, the whales are happy. The OGs who we spoke with, they're happy. If the majority after that is going to FUD because of that, um, I mean, I think it's perspective at the end of the day. Dingaling saw the new art. Yes, Dinga saw, Maverick saw, Grail saw, Jonas, definitely DJ, uh, Rockstar. I don't know, Tata, quite a few of them did. Apo, I'm the number one art critic. Yeah, I told Amresh. Amresh was like, he sold his Genesis. So I'm not going to show him. It's only for Genesis guys, apparently. 
Adis is the unluckiest guy who was supposed to buy a Gen 1 for 3 ETH. I think he was 0.5 each shot. And by the time he came back two days later, the floor pumped from 3 to 8 ETH with all the whales coming in. I remember that. I still remember that. I was so close. I was so close. Like, yeah, sometimes it happens, but yeah. Love this Gen 2. Yes, those kind of artworks which are unique and nice will try to retain as much of trait as possible. Uh, not pixel art, nope. It's going to be like a human ish, dino ish combo. Right? Human dino combo. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pump the floor. Bro, you go and sweep it. All the money you're making from trades and stuff, just go and buy. New art looks overpowered as fuck. Thanks, man. The Rockstar has seen the art. So I'm, I'm um, you know, does the new PFP still smoke? Yes. All your trades, your suit, your smoke, everything is going to come forward for the Genesis. Is Gen 2 getting some NFT drop? Yes. Gen 2, Fusion, and Genesis all getting NFT drop and we are merging the collection. Yes. Tennis is one is to one art, not, you won't lose it. If you have an afro, you have an afro. If you have a blue skin, you probably have going to blue blue skin, green skin, red background. Background colors might change, uh, but the traits will be retained. Suit, yes. So we keep the traits for fusion to uh, not not exactly, but it's yeah, it's kind of hard. Genesis is one is to one. Last thing we need is Gen Z calling our art mid. I think we have involved Gen Zs, we have involved boomers, we have involved whales, we have involved OGs. Like Shin is not, Shin is Gen Z and Shin has been working with the art from day one, right? So he's like, what, 23, 24? And he's been working with it from day one. Rockstar is not a, a boomer, he's a, he's a Gen Z as well. So, yeah. I own four NFTs of Gen 2. I'll receive four airdrops. That's correct. Yes. Is there going to be rerolls? It's going to be a very interesting mechanic for the females. There's going to be a very interesting mechanic for the females. I'm not going to say anything more, but not exactly a reroll, but there's going to be a, you know, something very exciting for the female side. Of course, Z, thanks a lot. We are super appreciative and also learning a lot from Maxis, how hardworking the team is. So um, thanks a lot for trusting us as your launch partner last year. So for Legendary Fusion, it equals to four NFTs instead of three. The same apply for Legendary Gen 2. Legendary Gen 2 will get, I think, 15 or 20 airdrops. So Legendary Gen 2 is super fucking undervalued in that sense. Legendary Gen 2s will be getting the same, uh, you know, status as a Genesis Legendary. Yeah, Genesis Legend, sorry, Gen 2 Legendary, not Fusion. So Gen 2 Legendary, um, I think about eight of them are in, in the, this thing. So yeah. Is it similar to Captain's Art? Nope. In Captain's, I like the concept, but I think they, it was very hard. I think they missed the point with not having a PFP and the rerolls. So no, we don't want to. I think we realized that trade customization actually screws up, in my opinion. Gen 2 legendary, yes. If you have a Gen 2, don't hold me to it, 15 or 20 or whatever, but it's more than 10. I think it's 10. I think it's 10. Yeah, it's more than 10. It's not a one is to one. So Gen 2 Legendary would be getting quite a significant chunk. Thanks, G-Kongs. Thanks for that. Thanks for the support. Walter is selling coconut because of trade business. No comments. Um,
question on what's going to happen at JiraVerse. Yes, that's told. JiraVerse are getting an exit. So if you had filled the form, if you had bought a JiraVerse, if you had minted a JiraVerse, if you had bought more than 0.05, you'll be getting uh, a, a different kind of a refund, which will be equivalent to the value of your mint. All right, any, any other questions, guys? Probably wrap it up in another two minutes. Minted three Jiraverse equals one. Uh, three or four or two, I haven't decided. Okay, so three could be one, four could be one, or two could be one. If it is not, at least it will be a proportion. So you'll get, if suppose it is four, you'll get three fourth as a fraction. If it is two, you'll get one and a half. So you get one full and a half as fraction. Trades are located randomly, so won't be carried over unless legendary. That's correct. Yes. Not only legendary, Genesis. All the Genesis and the uh, unique ones, the legendary ones, will be, uh, you know, will, will the trades will be carried over. Sell my legendary Gen 1. Give me offers, man. Probably might as well sell it. Need some money. I'm really short of cash. Too many, too many expenses, and PG is not paying me enough. So throw your uh, bids. I think Z Z was the first one who wanted my one-on-one -on -one legendary for like months. What are the names for Gen and Fusion roles? Not desired. Fusion want to have a role at this stage. We are going to give them three NFTs as airdrops, and uh, and uh, I think it'll come up with an uncommon trait as well. Okay, just wait for the write-up, but I think all the fusions out of the, uh, you know, all the fusion drops out of three, one will be an uncommon trait and you get three. So people merged two, two Gen 2s to get a fusion. Now we are giving back three. A Spit Buddies did. Spit Buddies started as an experiment by Lama. We had it for one year. We announced it as for one year. Um, so we didn't mint it. We never made money out of it. We only had people buy it for Spit and I think Jirax. So it was given as a purpose for one year and then market shit. Lama also kind of like, kind of like it went down. So the time is kind of like one year plus has passed for Spit Buddies. Lama make a lot of money from Portal can refund us. That's, that's the kind of thing that people don't realize. The sacrifice it takes of how much the team can be making money with... Uh, the current market and farming and other things and we're not getting distracted and keeping our target while these grifters and a lot of people that quit are happily making money and posting it on twitter it's been so annoying man like like you know like i don't even mind naming now like popoy and rt and all those people talking about how they made 600k in portal and shit and after rugging people with their rt pass and not eat aliens or whatever nonsense it's so annoying and these guys are living a carefree life. It's it's sometimes just boils me, but it is what it is. You think DOP going wrong? Something is off with DOP. There was already I knew already it was sus with no token supply mentioned. 38 billion is a joke. Yeah, I fucking minted that RT nonsense pass for like 0.25 ETH and I'm seeing her every day in different country in Bahamas and shit and Instagram and stuff. And it's, it is pissing me off and then posting about portal wins. 100% pissing me off. Like I really hope these fuckers just lose all the shit. But it is what it is, right? Scammers. This is a scammer world. That's pretty much it. Like, but in the end, you know, what we have, what we have built, the trust that the hundreds and thousands of people have on us, um, we were really close to giving up uh, mentally, but then that's when we started getting Dinga and Conger and them join us, and it gave us a boost like never before. You know, that is that is probably one of the best days in my life. I'm um, seeing all the whales come into Genesis. 
in December, Jan. I think that was, it literally made me like, like, you know, revive the whole team. Like, you know, where we were just down and feeling like, are people going to notice us? To yes, we are being noticed. So, yeah. When will marketing push for the merger happen? I think by mid-April. So that's when we hope there'll be some natural flow movement. Owning 10 equivalent NFTs or more will have extra perks even if not Gen 1 role. Each NFT airdrop will be 1 is to 1. Uh, so if you have 10, that's 10. Each NFT has its own access. So it'll be 10x access. And also allows you an opportunity to apply to get in. Yes. So each fusion gets 3. Each Gen 2 gets 1. So if we hold 3 fusions and a Gen 2, it's basically like applying for a Genesis. But yeah, of course, there's no guarantees uh, that they you'll be accepted because someone has to leave for another person to enter. The number of roles will be fixed at 333. So if anyone's coming to Dubai for token 2049, uh, hit me or G or Ken or anybody up, just tag. And yeah, we'll, we'll pretty much. Thanks, thanks for also coming in guys. Um, see at the end of the day, right? The day when the space realizes, when the products are out, when we not have one maxis, but like 20, 30 like maxi products or the solid team come on, help them come to the space. Um, I think that is when, you know, the real, um, you know, the, the real way of our work and think will, I mean, how we think we come into play. So Q2, Q3, you're going to see two, three airdrops for PG holders, um, you know, redacted one, redacted two maxis. And then you'll see a taste of a sample of how things would look like in the future. So, yeah. And if you guys know me, I would have done the art leak long time back. So it's, it's Amrish. He's, he's, he's threatening to quit PG if, he showed, if I show the art. Possible to get airdrop rare or one is to one for applicable for upcoming collection? It's gonna be I would say no because it's already an existing collection, so makes doesn't make sense. But maybe a few, why not? Maybe maybe a couple of legendaries. We might put it randomized. Maybe I don't know. We'll have to think because we have two legendary Gen twos in our vault. So there are a couple of legendary Gen twos still we haven't sold. Is there in our vault? So you know we haven't decided what to do with it yet. I'm gonna change my Twitter name to redacted like this name. <laughs> Gotta make coin name redacted. Yeah, I've been I've, I think I've been seeing this thing around as well. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there was, after you told, I got reminded me of uh, this one. I don't know what it is. I, I was sent, saw Dinga, I saw a lot of VCs, and I see a lot of people follow, and I was like, um, you know, so when you when you mentioned that this was there, so many shit coins, I'm, I'm so tempted to literally drop, um, you know, drop a contract address and race fight in mill. But, you know, it's, it's crazy, man. This market is crazy. Like a lot of cabal shit <laughs> as well, so yeah. Slurf, small. I put I sent money for small as well. So as much as I complain about it, I just sent anyways. But Jira community is so broke, man. Like, you know, we won't get anything if I pro drop my wallet. You're not rich. I might, I might end up with like 0 0.01 sol. If 
G shows your ways. I've been hearing uh uh was it I've been hearing you mean killing it with meme coins when when uh, sharing meme coins to the PG holders. G apparently has launched like 10 meme coins in the last one month. All all rumors going around, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I think we should probably drop our own meme coin and then run it. And then like, you know, no one gives a damn anymore. Like, you know, before meme coin used to be such a taboo and people are like, I oh, shouldn't drop it and shit. But then now it's like, fucking people don't give a damn who's dropping it they, as long as they make money. Anyways, guys, uh, it's about 1 a.m. So I'll probably have to head to bed. Any other questions? Um, and also we have to look at our, um, you know, Alpha bot and not what is it collab line or something? I think the rules are getting messed up really bad. Sybil's making a million dollars a month. She's making a million dollars a month with all the meme coin payments and stuff. And here we are trying to grind every day while she's killing it with one mil, dropping rugs after rugs. And I mean, nothing to blame her, right? To be honest, she's just using her Twitter as an advertisement board. I'm jealous to say the least. I'm actually jealous more than pissed uh, because she's utilizing our Twitter and making millions while every day we just keep posting like, you know, whatever, non-money making tweets. People ask for a donation to get a car and raise 50k. Yeah, that sucks. Shan mentioned meme coin, Shan meme coin, and let's get it to stake land. Yep. That's it. All right, guys. Um, we'll probably take off, but um, any other questions, um, you know, to King Amresh or somebody, and we'll, we'll try to answer. But thanks a lot for listening. We'll put a recap and a video. Uh, sorry, the, the recording. And uh, hopefully, you know, Q2, Q3, we smash it. Thanks a lot for listening and catch you guys on the next session.